Did you know that 400 years ago, a new biography of Jesus Christ was written in Mughal, India? Welcome to Gallery 115 of the Cleveland Museum of Art, where there's an intimate display of a fabulous cross-cultural marvel of a manuscript called the Mirat al-Quds, or the Mirror of Holiness. It was written in Persian by a Spanish Jesuit priest named Father Jerome Xavier. When Father Jerome arrived at the court of Mughal India, which was then ruled by the Emperor Akbar, he was asked by the monarch to write a story of the life of Jesus in the Mughal court language of Persian. It took him seven to eight years to learn the language, but when he finished it in May of 1602, there's a whole new biography, and he drew from different sources other than just the Gospels. So for example, Father Jerome drew from the legend of King Abgar, who was king of Edessa in southeastern Turkey at the time when Jesus was alive. He was sick, and Jesus didn't have time to come and visit him, so he sent an artist to paint Jesus' portrait that he would bring back in order to heal him. So here in the painting, we have Abgar's artist sitting on the ground like a mogul artist with pigments arrayed in oyster shells in front of him, struggling to create a worthy portrait. Jesus helped him out by taking a white cloth and pressing it to his face. And that perfect imprint on the cloth was what Abgar's artist brought back to the king, which healed him and then he converted to Christianity. I think Father Jerome was hoping that Emperor Akbar would take a cue from King Abgar's conversion, but he never did. Now, Emperor Akbar never actually commissioned an illustrated version of Father Jerome's Life of Christ. It was his son, Prince Salim, who commissioned the first illustrated copy, and that is the copy scholars agree is here on view at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Now, Prince Salim had gone off 300 miles away from the court of Akbar to start his own court, a rebel breakaway court, in a city called Allahabad. So his artists had no access to Father Jerome himself or any of the Christian materials that were in Akbar's imperial library. So all they had to go on was Father Jerome's Persian text, which was full of unintentional errors, and also their own experiences. For example, in the scene where Jesus is ending his fast after 40 days in the desert, it's Mughal delicacies that the angels are bringing to him. So biryanis, watermelon, complete with a knife, and also chapatis, which is the flatbread. Um, and the artist, this is the only painting that's signed by one of the artists. His father was a master in the Persian court. So in a nod to Persian painting traditions, he also incorporated beasts into the rocks of the landscape. Images of Mary are especially prominent throughout this manuscript. Both Akbar's mother and Prince Salim's mother changed their names to Mary. So in this way, it seems that both Akbar and Prince Salim saw themselves as messiahs in their own way. To learn more about this intriguing and beautiful manuscript, please come visit. Then you can see the paintings in person alongside European prints and paintings of the same scenes for comparison. Or you can visit our collections online and check out the high-res images. Thank you.